Hey, my YouTube friends, welcome back to Travis's Nexus Small Bet. Today in this episode, we're going to talk about Rivian and Rivian stock. Rivian just announced its 2024 Q1 financial reports, and it was a mixed results. At this point, Rivian has so many possible positive catalysts that I feel Rivian stock is so underrated right now. So in this video, we're going to go through those positive catalysts that potentially can boost the stock price in a big way. And also we're going to talk about why Riven stock at this point is not like trading really well. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give my thoughts on if Riven now is a good stock to trade. If it is, what's my strategy? Or if it's a company or a stock to long term invest that in? Or should we just uh, stay away from it for now? OK, so the first thing, let's have a quick recap on Riven's mixed results Q1 2024. On the good side, Riven said it would, we will see further cost savings from shifting its upcoming R2 production to its normal Illinois plant and trimming its capital expenditure forecast. The EV maker also reaffirmed its full year loss forecast and still sees the path to modest gross, gross profit in the fourth quarter of this year. I know we've been waiting for the modest gross profit for quite some time. And even though we know gross profit is still like a long way from net profit, but still that is a key first step for Riven to turn into net profit. And also for this quarter, Riven reported revenue of $1.2 billion versus $1.17 billion expected, which is an 80% jump from a year ago. However, Riven posted a loss per share of 1.48 versus 1.27 estimated, which is operating loss of 1.48 billion compared to 1.299 billion loss expected. Those are the numbers kind of dragged the stock price down after reporting the financial results a few days ago. And moving down a little bit, let's look at the production and the deliveries. So the production of the first quarter for R1T and R1S were 13,980 and delivered uh, uh, delivered 13,588. That's more than the expectations of around 12,400 units. However, the company has reaffirmed that the production guidance is, is still going to be 57,000 vehicles in the whole year 2024. So it's not uh, the total number is not increasing the yearly production and delivery because of the Q1 topping the expectations. So I guess there will be some lower than expected deliveries and production in the upcoming three quarters of 2024. Moving over from the Q1 financial results, there's actually one rumor that has a lot of juice in it and potentially be very, very big positive catalyst to Riven stock is that there is a rumor that Riven and Apple are actually in talk for a partnership. The rumor came from a Taiwan based Digit Times. They reported that Apple could be exploring a partnership with Riven, citing supply chain sources. Apple canceled their Apple car and now, it is a possibility that Apple is working on the partnership with an alternative, which is Rivian in this context. I think an acquisition from Apple uh, for Rivian is the best for Rivian investors for the short time. It'll give Rivian almost endless capital to expand, to research, to invest. And with this acquisition, Rivian can access Apple's huge user base. But after all, it is unlikely. It's more likely, in my opinion, uh, they they work together for a couple of things. The first thing is maybe a better hardware and software integration. We know Apple, besides the Apple Car plan, they also develop a car software, the Apple CarPlay, which is widely used across many of the car manufacturers. Well, a closer partnership may help Apple and Riven to integrate the, the hardware and the software even better. And Apple's CarPlay, the software can do so much more if they do that. And potentially the partnership may involve in Apple's hardware, especially their chips. We know Apple has so many powerful that has low power consumption and very powerful Apple Silicons, the M series, the A series. Maybe for vehicles, they'll develop a new lineup or using some of the existing very powerful Apple Silicon. I think any of the partnership with Apple for Riven is a win. And that's, that will be a very good positive catalyst to Riven stock for the short term and as well as for the long term. And the third one is also about Rivian's factory is that Rivian wins 827 million incentive package to expand its Illinois factory for R2 production. And this incentive comes from the state of Illinois to support 
Raven to build its next generation electric vehicle known as the R2. So this company announced that Thursday that Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity will dole out the funds, uh, which will be used to expand the automaker's existing factory in Normal, Illinois, to build out supporting infrastructure and boost the job training programs for its workforce. Updates to the factory will begin in the coming months. This is very important considering Raven's cash flow is becoming less and less compared with last quarter, last, last quarter. And the incentive can definitely be very helpful for Raven to be able to successfully start to produce its R2 in the, the current Illinois uh, factory. And we know that Riven had initially planned to build the R2 at a brand new 5 billion factory in Georgia. But the company announced that the R2 event in March that it had decided instead to build the brand new R2 factory, it, it will use the current existing factory in Illinois to produce the first R2s. Raven has received 1.5 billion incentive from Georgia government to build the plant and to start producing their vehicles there. But still, there's a gap of like over $3.5 billion roughly to build the factory. Plus, it will slow down the production of R2 to and like delay the rollout of the, the mass market segment SUV. That'll worsen the, the situation of Raven in the US market. Uh, as well as the company. So I think this is a really good move. And being able to get incentive from, from Illinois to expand its existing factory is a huge boost and it is a very positive catalyst to Riven stock. Okay, moving to the last one. Of course, we're going to talk about Riven's R2, which is a mid-size SUV that is the, the biggest volume segment of vehicles in the US market. Riven R2 has been officially unveiled two months ago on March the 7th. And during that unveil, Raven mentioned that they're not going to produce mass produce R2 until 2026, probably the second half of 2026. Even if we're being optimistic, there are still going to be two years away from R2's mass production and to hand over to its customers. And if you're keeping an eye on US economy and the Federal Reserve's policy, you know that there is still going to be an extended period of time that if the interest rate will remain high and kind of dismiss some of the potential buyers interest to like buy a new car at this point because the loan rate would be so high that they would pay much more interest than when the interest rate is low. With, with that being said, and with all the positive catalysts, the two years away uh, from R2 to be, be seen in the market, I think there's still going to be one year that Riven stock is going to remain in a relatively low level around ten dollars. And if in a short period of time the stock price shoot up for some reason or some positive catalyst, like two months ago when the R2 and R3 R3X unveiled, there was hype there and people are getting like optimistic to Riven, Riven because their prototype of R2 and R3 were so stunning. Or there's more news about like the Apple Riven partnership, something like that, some positive catalyst like that, then if in a short period of time, Riven stocks price, stock price increased by a lot, I think that's a good trading opportunity that to just like offload some of the, the, the stock and pick it up in a few months or a few weeks that when it's, uh, it goes down again, because we know we know the fundamentals that Riven is still struggling to get gross profit or even like net profit in the future. But going into the second half of 2025, I think that'll be a good opportunity or a good time to start to invest in Riven because from that point, it'll be just a one year or a few months away from R2's mass production. And by then, if not already, I think the US economy or the inflation probably have cooled down a little bit that the Federal Reserve starts to cut interest rates even more. And that'll drive the uh, the consumers to buy vehicles, to buy housings. So yeah, conclusion, short term, if there's like dip to this Raven stock, like $8, $9, that's good buy opportunity. And if for any of the positive catalysts, it goes up in a short period of time, that's the trading point. That's the, that, that's the point to sell. But uh, in one year, late 2025, maybe, then probably that's the time to like invest in uh, Raven because it's it's a such undervalued, underrated uh, stock and it's such a good company with amazing, amazing products. Of course, those are my opinions and those are my analysis. But if you like the content, please consider to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.